Good afternoon, lovely people of YouTube. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome to Veganuary Week 2. By the end of this week, we'll be halfway through this vegan experiment. Just to reiterate for you guys, because I've had a few comments about it, this isn't me going vegan full time or becoming a vegan channel. I'm just doing it to challenge myself for a month. So as you might have seen if you watched the week one vlog, things have been going fine. Um, I personally haven't had any slip ups. Francesco has admitted to one slip up, but he was drunk and it was just a bit of cheese. I'll allow it. <laughs> no, I mean, I told him he didn't have to do this with me anyway. It, it was entirely his choice. So I'm very impressed he's stuck to it as it is. So as with last week, this week I will be chronicling for you every single thing I eat, what I'm reviewing, what I'm baking. And of course there will be a recipe by the end of the video too, or linked in the description box below. So yeah, enjoy week two. Good morning, lovely people. It is day nine today. Day eight, much like day one last week. <laughs> Bit of a mess. I kind of forgot to film some things. I forgot to talk to you guys. Hey, what could you do? <laughs> Yesterday's breakfast, honestly, the reason I forgot to film it was because I was in a real rush. I had to head out to work early. So I literally just grabbed two of those homemade vegan chocolate chip cookies I made last week and a banana and I was out the door. <laughs> nothing glamorous and nothing particularly healthy, but delicious and very satisfying. <laughs> For lunch, I visited an Indonesian food pop-up, which was going on in Francesco's restaurant here in Aberdeen. Um, so I had a vegan nasi goreng, which was like a fried rice with kind of tiny chopped up bits of tempeh and vegetables and some kind of pickles on the side really really good didn't taste vegan whatsoever <laughs> and for dinner because we'd had quite a lot at lunchtime and francesco had been eating a lot kind of throughout the day we decided to have a lighter dinner so it was just another one of our kind of veg drawer salads with some aubergines some courgettes spinach cucumber just all kind of whirled together with a uh, soy and maple dressing i think so yes today is day nine for breakfast i am just finishing off the last little kind of toasting of this bread. I was gonna say toast, but it's technically not toast yet. Um, also have a little coffee, some banana slices ready to go on top and some pumpkin spice almond butter. So let's get this in my gob. So lunch today is at Roots in Bar 99 in Aberdeen. Mum has their kind of OG burger, which is basically just a super sexy version of like a giant Big Mac with some loaded fries. We have some gherkins because your girl loves gherkins. Mum does not. Um, and this is a kind of deep fried root vegetable burger with some salsa and some banging looking sauce. It is all vegan and it's glorious. So obviously this isn't the uh, the most conventional of dinners, but um, I had a big lunch. I'm not super hungry. I'm a little bit thirsty and aware that we both have very little food in the house and I have way too much of that vanilla protein powder to use up. So <laughs> this is basically just a kind of raspberry vanilla protein smoothie thing with raspberries, protein powder, oat milk, water, and some oats. Um, I'm going out to meet some friends in like 40 minutes, so I don't really have time to cook anything. So I'm just gonna kind of chug this and hope that tides me over. Could be worse. <laughs> I think that protein powder is definitely better in a kind of shake when you can blend it up. Like the raspberries, for example, add a kind of tartness or a sourness. And it gets rid of all that kind of artificial sweetness flavor because I never learn. I buy protein powders all the time, whether vegan or not. And I'm, I just, I forget how much I hate them. <laughs> I hate the taste of artificial sweeteners and I usually hate the kind of flavorings they have, but I've hardly eaten any protein today. So gotta do what you gotta do. Good morning, lovely people. It's day 10. <laughs> yes, it's day 10 today, and we're starting off with some of, well, pretty much the last of this box of Kellogg's granola, along with this April plain with coconut yogurt. I like this stuff because straight up coconut yogurt is very expensive and also like kind of hard to find. Whereas this one is like a blend of soy and coconut. It tastes pretty decent and yeah. So I'm having those with a banana. Nice and nice and summery when it's absolutely freezing outside, but it's just what I was in the mood for. So yeah, that's breakfast. And we're serving it inside a coconut because it, why not? 
So lunch today is going to be a little bit of a quick one because I've been doing some filming, two or three different videos today I think. So lunch is just going to be a kind of quick snack just while I am working. I have just reviewed these two chocolate bars for you guys. So that video will, I mean that will probably be up by the time you've seen this, but yes that was kind of this morning's snack. I also just devoured one of these tangerines which are vegan obviously because they are uh, tangerines. I'm in the middle of making cookies as part of a video. Look at them. You probably can't see them through the oven door, but my God, they are so sexy and I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys. Um, yeah, so I think I'm about to have some toast, maybe with a little bit of avocado on top. Yeah, let's do it. Good news, I found an avocado in the fridge. Also, I've just been reminded because someone left a comment on last week's vlog just saying, I don't know if cheddar is vegan. When I said cheddar, I meant this Via Life vegan cheddar. It's it's fine. I mean, I'm a big fan of really, really strong cheeses, whether they are soft or hard or whatever. This is definitely more kind of like plasticky burger cheese, but it kind of does the job when you want something cheesy, kind of. Lunch. So that's one slice of this seeded white bread, half an avocado, a little bit of shishimi, shishimi, uh, sorry I'm re really never sure how to pronounce that, but this stuff, it's amazing. It's like a blend of um, chili peppers with like orange peel and sesame seeds and stuff, it's fab. Sea salt, black pepper, lemon juice, banging. Okay, Saturday dinner. Francesco has been at work all day, so I thought I would be a nice little <laughs> housewife type and have some stuff ready for when he gets home. So, I have roasted two sweet potatoes to the point that you can see they are very soft. They smell amazing and I'm trying my best not to eat them all right now. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to take them out of their skins and kind of mash them up a little bit. And I'm going to cook these Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages, which I hear are like the king of veggie and vegan sausages. They are vegan approved. I did have to check. So that and just some kind of sweet potato mash. I'll just kind of season it up a little bit with, I don't know, whatever I feel like and probably use some olive oil instead of butter or something like that. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. What are we having for lunch today? Risotto. <laughs> what kind? Um, Puccini mushroom, mushrooms, leeks, a tembe. I don't know, it's a mix of stuff. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here, but it's all right. It's working. So it's only, it's only, you're only Italian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So chunks of tempe and a whole lot of veg. It's looking good. He's even look at this boy. He's even made his own vegetable stock. What a little angel. What a little peg. <laughs> So yeah, just some decent vegan goodness. Could definitely be improved by some butter or some parmesan, but you know definitely. what? We'll get it, we'll get through. Yeah, can we put some butter in it? No, it's all right. <laughs> it looks good. It looks like a risotto, so stop complaining. <laughs> and dessert.
morning friends it is day 13 today we are almost at two weeks of vegan living and yesterday is honestly the first day i've really really felt the struggle i was craving chicken just specifically roasted chicken thighs on the bone with crispy skin so much <laughs> I would have paid a lot of money to eat it, but I didn't, we are here, no meat was consumed. <laughs> um, so this morning, I am in the middle of making a little kind of packed lunchbox to take to work. So this is going to be a chickpea tuna sandwich. So basically you just mash up a whole bunch of chickpeas with some mayonnaise, and there's also some mustard, some lemon juice, and some salt and pepper and stuff in there. And I'm having that kind of mashed onto some bread with some gherkins. <laughs> I realized that will be absolutely abhorrent to some people but I love gherkins, I love mayonnaise and I like chickpeas so this is pretty much spot on. <laughs> and in here we just have a nice pot of porridge which is looking nice and thick ready to go. I have some coffee and through the porridge I have stirred some biscoff which is just a favourite vegan ingredient. Accidentally vegan but so so happy that it is. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna split this between two bowls for us both stick some banana on top, and yes, that will be a fairly decent start to the day, I think. Good morning. It is the final day of week two. As usual, me being bad at vlogging <laughs> means I forgot to film dinner last night. Dinner was um, soup, the remnants of which are still... Um, there. <laughs> so that was just a lentil soup. Um, spice lentil soup it was pretty decent. Here's a picture of Francesco and our friend Nick eating it, just in case you wanted that. <laughs> so yes, like I said, today is day 14, so it's the end of week two breakfast. I have just whipped us up some muesli. So obviously muesli never looks particularly pretty. <laughs> this is just a combination of oats, raisins, a little pinch of sea salt, oat milk, coconut yogurt and some maple syrup just to sweeten it and I threw some seeds and some cheeky brazil nuts on top just for a little bit of texture. So that's going to be breakfast today. Um, also going to have out some coffee as usual. Um, today I think I am having lunch just at Prêt à Manger with a friend so it should be easy enough. Dinner, probably going to be another case of winging it because <laughs> I have a cake, a very non-vegan cake to bake for a work colleague tonight. So I will probably have to break my holy vow <laughs> by tasting some of the buttercream frosting. It'll be interesting to see whether I have like a Jimmy Neutron brain blast moment when that happens, <laughs> when I'm reunited with dairy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I have been fine. Yesterday was okay. I've had one kind of serious chicken craving that I think I already mentioned, but other than that, it's been okay. I don't feel any different, but it's still only week two. We're halfway there. I'll check in with you at the end of the day and we'll see how the two of us are getting on. How has week two of being vegan been for you? Fine. Fine? Really? Liar? No, 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 it was good, it was good. The legit match. I think I pushed it better than last week. I think I think it was good to have. There was a lot of food. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I like to moan. I know. But who doesn't? I know. But it wasn't that bad. What are you missing the most? Um, the idea of being able to eat whatever I want. Yeah, me it's, too. I don't actually eat a lot of meat, as I just said, but as I already said, but um, the fact that I can't eat it. Yeah. The fact that I know there is forbidden in this very time of the year, so I'm like... Ugh. Naughty. You want yeah. it more, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's just the anarchy feeling of being able to chew. <laughs> and finally, do you feel any different? Like, have you... Does your body feel any different? Do you feel more hungry? Do you feel less hungry? Do you feel fitter? Do you feel... What do you feel? Just the same? Just the same. 
Yeah. Yeah. Maybe my shape slightly improved, but maybe mm-hmm. like I can't really say for. Yeah. I mean, um, you're probably eating less just naturally anyway, but. A lot, a lot of junk food. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Loads of fries, like. Yeah. Fries. Um, <laughs> or anything. To yeah. Be honest, fried. I know. Um, I've been kind of the same. I I feel pretty much exactly the same except the fact that I'm definitely a lot hungrier even no matter how much I eat it's it's the lack of choice that gets me the most when you go out for dinner or out for lunch or anything and obviously this is such a bloody middle class problem but you really are limited in your choices but yeah we're we're halfway through now so we're going to we're going to power on yeah we're not going to break are no. we okay thank you so much for watching and we will see you in week 3